Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, how to trade the breakout candlestick bar precisely. Now there is uh, a scenario in the financial market when the price is consolidating in a rising channel. So usually when we are talking about breakout, we are talking about horizontal consolidation uh, that can be followed by a bullish breakout or a bearish breakout but sometimes we also have a breakout after a rising channel if the price is consolidating in the rising channel the same thing is true when we have okay price going down okay in consolidating in a declining channel you can see that this is not a normal price move. This is a consolidation here. Yeah? The volatility is low, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes you see something like this when the price is going down. But it will be consolidating in a declining channel. And then we have a breakout, a bearish breakout. All right? So the example that we're going to look at today is a bullish breakout. So the price is consolidating in a rising channel not in a horizontal channel, not in a declining channel. This is not a normal price progression in a normal rising channel. But you can see though it was rising in a rising channel, it was consolidating gently. And this is excellent setup for swing traders. Now, there was a breakout here, a bullish breakout. You can see that candle C bar breaks above the channel is trying to escape it. Remember this. Remember what I'm about to say. Usually, if you see a bullish channel like this, and the price is consolidating, sometimes the breakout can be very, very fast. You can just dash out. It's like a pressure. All right? Just dash out. But don't assume that definitely, all right, it will continue to go up. You see here, there was a bullish breakout, but it didn't continue. If you do not know how to trade the breakout candlestick bar, um, at the year you will be throwing money, money in a way, which is not good, all right? So this candlestick bar here is what we call the breakout candlestick bar for this uh, channel. Now we have a new one here. You see that? So the first condition is that the breakout candlestick bar must close, whether you're on a four-hour time frame, daily chart, monthly chart. I need to remind you that this strategy is very, very solid right, on a monthly chart. Right? So if you are using it on the hourly time frame, right, which you can do, just understand that it's more solid on a monthly chart. Okay. So how do we trade it? That is the question. So you will highlight the high of the breakout candlestick bar like here. You highlight the high of that candlestick bar. You highlight the low of that breakout candlestick bar. All right. And you will also highlight the media line of that breakout candlestick bar. If you want to buy, you can buy above the high, or if the price pull back to retest the media line of the breakout candlestick bar. All right. So here you can see that uh, the price did open here, went up above the high. Okay, but and then it came back down. So people were expecting a bullish breakout, so it start going up first. But then the bearish seller sold it down. It came near the media line of uh, the breakout candlestick bar. Probably there were people trying to buy it there, but the price continued to go to the low of the, the breakout candlestick bar. You see, so this candlestick bar here is very volatile. You see, it went up first and then it came down. So very, very volatile candlestick bar. This one. It's one example of a, a very volatile tendency bar. All right. 
So you say, George, um, I didn't get it. And I, I hear you, but I didn't get it. So once you have done that, the high, the low, and the media line, all right, it is very important that you use what we call a different time frame trading method. So you will be looking for a bullish trading setup. The simple one will be break a bow, retest on the daily chart. All right, because the setup is in place. This is a bullish setup. It's in place after the breakout candlestick by close on the monthly chart. Now we are looking for a signal to buy or to sell on the signal time frame, which is in this case the daily chart. Once you have finished to draw the high, the low, and the media line, you can now go to the daily chart and monitor the activity there. Before you think that you understood everything, I have not yet finished. Do me a favor. Highlight the uh, measure the width of that uh, breakout candlestick bar. This one here. We are measuring the height. In fact, it's the height of that candlestick bar, the breakout candlestick bar. And because it's a bullish breakout, we project it up. See here? Project it up on the top of the high. Now we have a new target here. You see here? And then again, you draw that line there. And you draw also a media line of that measuring stick. And you project it again one more time. Okay, like this. And then you, you draw this line here, which I already done. And you also draw the media line. The reason why you will do that is that in the future, you see, we were here when 2017. Can you believe that? Uh, that was uh, in September 2017. So you can draw all those lines that I'm mentioning to you now already, and you can be looking for trading opportunity on or near one of those lines. Are you, are you seeing it now? So the media line, you see the media line of our latest projection is the green one here. By measuring the height of this breakout candlestick bar, the projected first time, we had the media line, the pink one here. So see here, the pink one here was the resistance, which year? In 2018, but we draw it in 2017. The prior final resistance near that pink line, which is the media line of that one here. Look at this one. Now we project it one more time. So we have the target, this one, and we have the media line here. Look where, look at this is our new breakout candlestick bar. All right, look where it stopped exactly on the media line of our latest projection. Now, as the price goes above that high, you see here, you're coming near this target, and some traders who are aware of it are very careful. That's why this candlestick bar, this is the month of May, the month of May. Uh, 2019. So I'm recording this video today on the 21st of May uh, 2019 and the time in London is 4 minutes past 3 p.m. Are you seeing the power of that? Now, again, so here, if you don't understand, okay, a top-down trading method, if you are not trading like a pro, you can quote me anywhere, trading like a pro, it's about using different time the method to time the market correctly. Professional traders cannot just buy anywhere, anyhow, at any time. It's just crazy. I mean, I don't understand it. You have to have a strategy to time the market, isn't it? Yes or no? It's very important. All right? So if we do exactly the same thing that we have done here to this new bullish breakout, can you see that? So we will be highlighting the high, which is corresponding to the media line of this projected one. So this is the high, that's the low. Can you see that? Where is the low? Can you see the low? The low is exactly the media line of this one. Look at the, this, the, the first projection. You see? The first projection. So that bullish breakout here goes from the, 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 this media line to that media line. You see? That's the high, that's the low. Yes or no? But we were using this kind of see bar here. And this is the, the media line of this candlestick kind of here, the red one here. So the same rule we will apply. So now we will, say, we will be looking for an opportunity to buy. 
near at the high above the high, break a ball retest. If there is a signal to, to buy, we'll buy. We're going to look at it gently in our daily chapter soon. And another place we can look for an opportunity to buy is near the median, which means we prefer it to pull back, maybe with a little bit of tail. All right. And then the common straight is broken. We implement a top down to the middle to trade it. All right. We can do that also. Okay. I haven't finished yet, all right? Stay with me, please. So if you go quickly to the daily chart. So that's the high of that uh, month, you can see bar, the month of, um, where am I now? April, right? So it was ending here in April, right there. So you can see that after that, the price breaks above the high and pull back. You can see my arrow there. In fact, uh, I was recording this video before, but there were some technical issues and the video has failed. Otherwise, I will have uh, posted it already. So this is what we are talking about. Break a ball, retest. Common certain line is broken. So after this can see bar, you will be going to the hourly time frame for your entry. If you do not want to use the hourly time frame, you break it down to the 10 minute time frame. For traders who are not familiar with um, the top down trading method, just YouTube search the phrase mastering top down trading. Mastering top down trading trading. You will see a playlist of uh, five videos that uh, are recorded on our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is 24 Stock Trader. Dg2, Dg4 Stock Trader. Don't watch it anywhere else. Trader have been following another. I always say that, so probably they are laughing and say, Joe, you always say the same thing. Ha 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 ha. All right, so don't watch it anywhere else, okay? Okay, so here you can see that it was a little bit messy here. Yeah? You see, it was a little bit messy after this uh, kind of uh, candlestick by its close. So if it's not very clear on one time frame, you can change time frame and look at it. Okay, on a different time. So what has happened here, you see an amount of hourly time frame. The price did not run away straight away, but it slowed down, you see. It slowed down, you see, on the hourly time frame, we see a consolidation, all right, on the hourly time frame. This was going on. So the market pattern will determine the appropriate strategy that we must take. So you see, so probably maybe you enter somewhere here, and you play, if you, you can, afford the stop loss that's what i'm saying to trader can you afford the stop loss the best place here but can you afford it or probably they take you out which can happen all right but suppose you were you 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 spotted that okay probably you spot it here all right so you will know that okay there is a consolidation on the hourly time frame so if i want to buy i'll prefer to buy somewhere here instead of here all right, that would be a better scenario. So you see, blah, 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 so you say, okay, I'll, in, I'll join them here, and fingers crossed, because you have done your beat, now you can cross your fingers, okay, that's fine. Another mistake, all right, now I see a double button. Yeah. All right? But you see, sometimes you can have the signal, you can have everything in order, but it, it, you see, it went up a bit, you know, the hour it comes. Now you hear it is again coming down. So where are we now? We are now on top of for the, the, <laughs> so it went to be inside the, the horizontal channel on the hour it time frame. We tested uh, the media line of uh, our new blue channel on the hour it time frame. And here it is going up now here. So if you want to play speculative train, uh, you may join them here and uh, use a very tiny stop loss, probably for day trading purposes. 15, 20 pips, and then hide it here and see what will happen today. All right? All right? Am I talking too much? But at the end of the day, you don't want to use one time frame alone. You see? So here it is. He was consolidating in the RZ channel. We see a breakout here. We apply the same method. Here you can see that instead it didn't go out, it came back down. So if you apply the top down trading method, you will know that okay, the signal has fell. And uh, you, you want to flow with the fly. If you don't want to play, don't play it. Again, here, 
the higher the lower the media line down good the high is here so this is what we are looking at on a daily chart and also on an hourly time frame to investigate the best place and the best time when we can join them if there is opportunity but more advanced traders can push their curiosity a little bit higher and maybe say well we're on a yearly chart so the yearly chart here it is it's a very long and see bar so this year 2019 people were buying this for a while so it's quite a long and a see bar probably the bullish traders are getting tired <laughs> probably but we will see probably are we going to have a double size of this kind of bar so this is one thing that is coming to my mind so but before we wrap it up as I told you, you want to project it many times. So you see, when we were measuring the width of this breakout canvas bar, we project it, we project it. We can project it again, but we don't have enough room now, so we wait. We project it and just leave those lines there. You see? Well, the last thing that you do not want to forget when you are trading the bullish breakout, whether in a downtrend, you do the opposite in the downtrend and you measure the the, 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 the the height of that breakdown can kind of see by you project it down 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 okay same thing you do when you have the horizontal channel okay but one thing you do not want to what am i now let's check the time uh, 60 minutes all right we'll wrap it up soon one thing that you do not want to forget all right is this one the last thing that you do not want to forget is to measure the width of the original channel so the prior was controlling the in the channel before we were talking about that bull breakout candle steep bar yes or no so you want to project that channel also in the direction of the breakout candle steep bar this is very very important so this will allow you to map out the chart so so i have measured the width of that channel I project it in the direction of the prime of the break of Kennedy bar and now I draw a line that is parallel to that channel that's what we call market geometry and then we draw also the media line of that channel so can you see now the media line of that channel is also helping us will help us to know where is the best place to enter the test so we do not buy into a resistance Right? or we do not sell into a support level so you see so you have to understand why some traders were taking profit there is because of the media line of our projected channel can you see that hmm? you see they went into that zone they know that there is a trend line there so they were buying at a high but they know that oh there's no enough room there's another resistance a little bit ahead so they were very careful so you need to watch it now if you want to zoom into it, uh, to zoom into it means go to the lower time frame. To zoom out of the chart is to go to different higher time frame. So for instance, if I'm on a three minute time frame, I'm zooming out of the chart, I'll be going to the uh, hourly time frame, four hour time frame, daily chart, and I'm zooming out, I'm, out, I'm zooming out, okay? But if I want to zoom in, like here, see what's going on there right now, with a microscope, I'll go to the lower time frame to see exactly what is happening in that zone. I'm on the 15th time frame. So I don't want the video to be too long, so this will conclude our discussion today about how, okay, I trade the breakout candle C bar precisely. If this video has been totally, totally useful to you, please let us know by giving us your beautiful thumbs up. If you dislike it, you say, George, well, I'm not impressed one bit, huh? How long have you been talking to me? You waste my time. Be sure to mark it down. If you think that George, well, uh, yeah, you've done your best today. I'm, I'm impressed. All right, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. All right. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is Two Four Stock Trader. Digit Two, Digit Four Stock Trader. Be sure to click on the notification bell so anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. So, this will conclude our discussion today about how I trade the breakout and the bar precisely. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about how I trade the breakout and the bar precisely.
thank you for watching and I will speak to you soon. Thank you for watching.